Hello everyone, it's your host, your friend, your boy, Jeb Blythe One Only, here with another exciting video. This is just a check-in, uh, so I'm just going to essentially do a vlog where I talk about uh, what I've been up to, how I've been, uh, yada yada, etc, etc. Uh, so first I want to start it off uh, by doing a little introspection into like my grades and how I've been doing in school. Uh, normally I do significantly better in school than I have been recently. I've been slacking. Um, and it's a noticeable slack. You can definitely tell. So in network defense, I have an 87.65. Originally, I had like an A- minus in this class. I'm not too afraid about network defense. I definitely know I can bring that back up to an A. Uh, the second one is a hard drop compared to normal me. So in principles of finance, at principles, blah, principles of finance, I have a 60, like a flat 60 in principles of finance. Uh, we only have one more big grade in that class, and it's a test. Uh, we do have a homework assignment, but that homework assignment, I believe once I finish it, will only boost that grade up to maybe like 65. So then it's really banking on that last test. Um, what I've learned is that um, the PowerPoints are definitely the most important thing about that class, but if you try to get all the information from the PowerPoints onto like a single study sheet, you'll get maybe one chapter and test are normally two chapters. So you end up only taking in about half the material, which means I have to find out either a way to shorthand and compress information more onto my study sheet or to learn one chapter really well, like just know it all in my head, and then have the other chapter on the study sheet. Um, it took me two tests to figure that out. So it's definitely been a slow learning experience on how principles of finance works. Hopefully, I won't have to retake that course. One of my friends who sits next to me, uh, this is the second time doing that course. So uh, I don't want to end up in the same boat. Uh, modern systems analysis and design, I have a 95 in that class. Uh, no issues there. Biggest issue with that is that we are going to have a, well, essentially the class is a project course. So we have a massive class project that we're working on, and once we finish that class project and turn it in, it represents a large portion of our grade. So if we turn in the final project and he has legitimate issues with it, it will definitely cause the grade to shift. Um, I just hope that isn't the case. I feel like our group needs to create like models to help support the final project, and we just haven't. So that will eventually be done. I know I'll be contributing an ERD and a schema of our database as well as SQL code of the database that we're working on. So I'm not too worried about that, um, but I just need to make sure that everyone else in the group also submits something because the project isn't good enough. You have to also submit like an updated charter and you have to submit like different graphs and diagrams and things like that. So Hopefully we can keep that one up. That one's currently an A+, and if it could stay an A+, that'd be pretty great. Uh, then we have Business Statistics 2. In that class, I have a 78, so pretty much just a C+, almost a B. Um, in Business Statistics, I felt like it would be like finance. I thought it was going to be a really difficult class that will cause my grade to go down, but in the end, it seems like the review she does right before the final is really helpful. And with that review alone, uh, well, not before the final, but before any test, with that review alone, I'm fine. Like, yeah, like that, you'll be in the class and you'll be like, I'm not sure if I really understand it. And then you'll get to that last review and you'll be like, oh, that's all I gotta do is easy. <laughs> um, plus, she provides charts that you need and stuff like that for the test. It's another study sheet based class. What's interesting about Principles of Finance versus uh, Business Statistics is both classes are classes where it's like you get to bring in one study sheet and you can use that study sheet on the test. But for Principles of Finance, even with the one study sheet, I haven't been doing well. Um, but for Business Statistics, with the one study sheet, I'm fine. And I feel like I put an even amount of effort in both courses. So it's, it's perplexing. Um, you know, considering an 18 point difference for two courses where I feel like I put in like the same amount, I guess I just understand business statistics more. I don't know. 
Um, and then in sports economics, that teacher doesn't post online. So I know that I have either like a C or a B in that class. If it's a C, then it's a high C. And if it's a B, it's probably a low B. Um, the, main, the main issue with that is I had to go to Mississippi for my scholarship on a trip. And when I went to Mississippi, the issue was that um, he doesn't let you take tests early. He has a policy against makeup tests. So if you can't take it early, you can't take it later, he just fails you. So it's a zero, but it'll be dropped from my grade. But the way that he does grades is that like, you add it all together, like the summation of like your grade and you divide it by the total number of points you could get. So right now my grade looks lower than it probably will be if he drops that quiz. I'm probably closer to a higher B in that class than I think. Um, so that's how I am with school for the most part. I just had spring break. Uh, tomorrow will be the end of my spring break. And what I did for spring break is I worked on uh, my security clearance forms. I really had to buckle down and get those done. I just felt like I hadn't had time, especially with the school stuff I was just talking about and the fact that you have to like look for internships and everything over the summer. I've been kind of buckled down. Uh, but with spring break, I was like, this would be a great time to finish the government clearance paperwork. Turns out, uh, you can't actually submit your forms online without a code that you get from the university. And you can't get codes from the university when they're closed. So I couldn't actually finish my clearance forms, and the deadline was supposed to be the end of March. Got them. <laughs> uh, you got me. Um, Dad's been really upset about that. He's like, why didn't you just do it earlier in the month? I tried to explain that I had like a lot on my plate. Dad's like, well, what about all the times you hang out with your friends? And I'm always like, well, that's how I like cool off from all the stuff on my plate. I thought spring break would be a great time because you have like a whole week before the month ends and I could just do it. And I did finish the forms. I just can't submit them yet. Um, but the only time I will be able to submit them is after the deadline. So I don't know how that's going to work. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to for the most part. And anything else I've done that's been like hanging out with friends or anything cool for the most part, you've like seen that, um, like via the vlog and different videos that we post on the channel. I would say the only stuff you haven't seen, I've been writing multiple RPGs at once, and that's been interesting. Dozer's been working on like a Dragon Ball inspired RPG, and that's really cool. Um, and I feel like you got the gist. I've also been watching some shows, uh, Power Rangers Wild Force, Jessica Jones, uh, there's an old show called Reboot, and they've created, like, a reimagining slash continuation of Reboot. Like, it seems like it's still in continuity. And I'm like, what do you mean it's not a reboot or reboot? That's crazy. So, um, it's, been, it's been pretty exciting as of recent. Oh, and I got caught up with OKKO, OK Let's Be Heroes. Uh, I actually really dig that. Out of the newer cartoons that have been out, it's been one of my favorites. I've tried uh, Craig of the Creek. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. I just wanted to give a quick check-in to all of you to let you know what I've been up to and just to say hello. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like this video. Favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring that bell to be notified whenever we do these live streams. Well, this one wasn't live. Anyways, this is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black and One Only, logging out. Peace.